In your entertainment news this week, David Cassidy, who came to fame as a 70s teen heartthrob and lead singer on The Partridge Family, has died. He was 67 years old. The singer-actor had recently been admitted to the intensive care unit of a Fort Lauderdale, Florida area hospital. Cassidy was in critical condition and suffering from organ failure before his death on Tuesday. His family says David died surrounded by those he loved with joy in his heart and free from the pain that had gripped him for so long. David Cassidy was born into the entertainment industry that made him a star. His father was famed actor and singer Jack Cassidy, and his mother was actress Evelyn Ward. After his parents split in 1956, the elder Cassidy married actress and singer Shirley Jones the same year. David Cassidy will be remembered as the popular 70s heartthrob who starred as singer Keith Partridge on TV's The Partridge Family. Eight women are reporting that longtime television host Charlie Rose made unwanted sexual advances toward them, including lewd phone calls, walking around naked in their presence, or groping their breasts, buttocks, or genital areas. The women were employees or aspired to work for Rose at the Charlie Rose Show from the late 1990s to as recently as 2011. They ranged in age from 21 to 37 at the time of the alleged encounters. The 75-year-old said, in a statement, he apologizes for his inappropriate behavior and said he is greatly embarrassed. He added that he has behaved insensitively at times and accepts responsibility for that, though I do not believe all of these allegations are accurate, he said. I always felt that I was pursuing a shared feeling, even though I now realize I was mistaken. Della Reese, the husky voice singer and actress who spent almost a decade playing a down-to-earth heavenly messenger on the CBS series Touched by an Angel, died on Sunday night at her home in Encino, California. She was 86. She had won the NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Actress in a Drama Series in 2001 and 2002 for her work on the series. Along with being an American jazz and gospel singer, she became an an ordained minister in real life. In the late 1960s, she had hosted her own talk show, Della, which ran for 197 episodes. Mel Tillis, who earned a place in the Country Music Hall of Fame and a National Medal of Arts as a singer and writer, died on Sunday in Ocala, Florida. He was 85. He had over two dozen top 10 country hits of his own and wrote dozens more for others, including the enduring Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town for Kenny Rogers in the first edition. He was lovingly known for the stutter he employed to humorous and self-deprecating effect on stage. This has been your entertainment news this week. I am Alicia Cook reporting for News 46.